Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another album project share to show you guys. So I've been on just, you guys know, I've been on this kick of making albums and I just, I can't stop and I'm having fun using up all of my six by six um, paper pads, but now I'm also like, I need to buy some more so I can make more because <laughs> once they're gone, they're gone, you know? Um, but I was also thinking that maybe I could just start cutting up some 12 by 12 sheets. And if I cut it up, um, you know, because you could cut up a 12 by 12 and get four 6 by 6 sheets, then maybe I can make like four albums if it's like a 48 sheet um, of uh, paper, you know. So I don't know. We'll see what I'll do next. I do also want to use up eventually my 6 by 8 paper pads as well. I just am having fun using up all these paper pads. So that's been a lot of fun. All right, guys, so let's get started and I'll show you guys what the scraps are that I have left over and talk more about this. So for this album, I use the collection called Good Tidings by American Crafts. I can't remember where I got this from. It could have been a D stash. It could have just, I don't know, shown up in my stash somehow. I honestly don't know, but it was in my stash. So this is what I used. It's a really cute paper pad. And I, this is, I, mean, I used up almost all of it and I went to town guys using up my scraps on this one. So the only sheet I have left is this little cut apart sheet. And that is it. And then these are just the little bits of scraps I have left. I pretty much used everything else. I used up strips and larger pieces and you guys will see that. But that is all that I have left in my scraps. So I pretty much used up everything. I will hold on probably to this um, sheet because I could always use that and mix and match it with some other collection if I need some cut aparts. So here is my album. Again, I used a tutorial by LMS Crafty Creations with some added elements that I learned from Rosa Kelly and I will have both of those videos linked down below. And if you guys are interested in purchasing this album, it will be available in my Etsy shop. So I will have that linked down below as well. So check out the description box. And yeah, okay. So this album has the six by six sheet of paper on the front. I added two trims on the side with a silver glitter background layer on a red album base. And it's got ivory pages to match the ivory in the collection. So this is one of the cut aparts that I backed onto silver cardstock and it says Merry Christmas. Here is a die cut Christmas tree that I die cut and then I bedazzled all around with the smallest little silver <laughs> jemmies ever. And I did also do some stitching all around this, as you guys could see. Same thing on the spine. I did a silver glitter and I stitched all around it. And then here is the back side. Like I said, there's ivory in this collection. So this is the back side and it's got the two trims on the side as well. So it is a two inch spine in this album and this is what it looks like when you open it up so again for this album because it is only a 36 um, sheet paper pad i did have to pull from another collection because i added in some other elements and things like that so i needed a little bit more paper so these two over here are not from the collection um this red glitter one was from another collection i had in my stash which i have right here it's from tuesday morning so I did get the red glitter paper from this paper pad, which I'm also happy that this one is almost done as well. There's just um, some foiled sheets, a snowflake, and then another foiled sheet, and then a green glitter one. So I only have four sheets left in this paper pad as well. Um, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, so this plaid is from a plaid paper pad by either Craftsmart or Recollections. There's two. One of them I think is Craftsmart. One of them is Recollections, both from Michaels. And they're just slightly different and this has a magnetic closure here with a little waterfall and this just opens up like this and i did put like an ivory piece here where you could add a photo and it would still have like that border so anytime you add a photo it's going to look like this with like a little ivory border on these pieces so that's what that looks like there here we have one of those um i don't even know what these things are called but one of these 
um, pocket thingies. So this opens up like this, up, and then this opens up down. And then here in this one, I did actually include um, journaling cards because I, like I said, was going to town using up my scraps. So all of these, I just used some scraps and matted it onto a red cardstock and then added in like a white piece on the back. So there's that one, there's this one, and then there's this one. So yeah, I was just using up some scraps and they all have a white sheet on the back. So you could mix and match these throughout the album. They don't have to go just here, um, but you could put them in other pockets as well or just like um, tuck them in places. But that's what that looks like. Then here you have two four by six photo mats all decorated with some extra paper. Here you have a four by six photo here. This also flips out. You have a four by four photo, then three two by three photos, and then you have another four by six photo right here. So it's just a cute little like layout. Then here you have a, um, what is this called? An insert? <laughs> And it goes into the pocket and I did do the tabs with silver glitter because I just thought it matched well with this album. And my baby even thought that this album is even more festive than the other ones because it's silver glitter. He thinks silver glitter is more festive for Christmas than gold. So here we are. I also just thought the silver went with this album because there is gray in this um, collection, like these pieces. So there is gray. So I just thought the silver kind of goes better here. And here we have another 4x6 photo map. Here we have a pocket, and inside this pocket I do have some inserts. So this one was another um, leftover scrap I had. It just says Merry Christmas, and I added a cute little Santa hat with a pom-pom and some glitter. And there's two photo mats on the inside. And then this one, again, I just used up some scraps. And this is like a journaling card. It says fa-la-la, fa-la-la-la, with some reindeer antlers. And then it's got a photo mat on the back. And this is what the pocket looks like. So those just tuck right back in there. And then here you have a four by five photo mat. Again, I do not have a stamp that says four by five, but anytime it says place photos here, it is a four by five size photo mat. And then here I have a four by four photo mat. Then you have this next page and this is the end of the first signature right here. So you have two three by four photos here and it coordinates with this next section. That's another two three by four photos. And now we're onto our second signature, which is right here. So then the next page, you have a four by six photo here, two three by four photos. You have a four by four here. This opens up here, you have a four by six. This is also a four by six photo. Um, that you could put here or I left it blank so you could do some journaling and in any of these if you wanted to add in a 4x4 photo you could totally do that in these spaces and then still journal on the bottom here so it doesn't have to be a 4x6 photo for example or you could add in two 2x3 two photos and then still journal on the bottom however you want to do it then here you have another insert and it looks like this got polka dots on one side and snowflakes on the other that match the cover of the album and that just slides right back in there because this is a pocket then this turns you have a four by six photo map here we have another pocket here and here I have this that I made using up some scraps and this thing right here is actually a tag from Dollar Tree you know those tags that everyone's been buying? Well, they come in a pack of 18, which I thought it just came in a pack of nine, but it's 18. So I was like, oh, this goes great here because it's got the gray and it's got the red and it's got a little bit of dimension and I thought it was cute. So I stuck that on there and there is a photo mat on the back and these are three by four. Then there's this Christmas tree, which is the negative piece of that Christmas tree page, just like the front cover was with the Christmas tree. And I just added in a little tag and you could journal on the back. And then there's this one that opens up. So that just opens up like this. And that's just another thing I created using up some scraps. And that just lives in this pocket right here. Then here I have three two by three photos and I left this one blank for journaling. And then you have a three by four photo. 
Then the next page you have a four by six photo. And then here is that Christmas tree. And it's got um, striped white acetate on the inside with a beautiful um, silver glitter border piece. And then there's some pom-pom trim on the bottom here. And then here's the back side of that. So it's a nice little like see-through page. I just love adding those into my albums. Then here we have a waterfall. And I love making these on all of my albums as well. So it's a cute little waterfall and I added in some eyelash trim down here. It's just so fun. I could do this like all day. It's so fun guys. Okay, so there's that and there's these beautiful like star brads on the sides. And then the next page you have two four by six photos again. You have a four by four photo here. Then this opens up again. You have a two by three photo and a three by four photo. This is the first time I did something like this. And then you have two three by four photos and then a four by six photo. And I think it turned out really cute. Lots of space for photos, guys. And then there's this insert here that's got the bows on one side. And it's got this beautiful um, pattern on the back side. I don't even know what this is called. Um, so I'm not even going to try. Okay, then here you have a 4x6 photo mat here. You have another pocket here. And again, like I said, I was going to town using up my scraps, guys. And I used some techniques that I did um, in, my, um, in my card process video using up scraps. So I did some layering and things like that. And then this opens up and it's got two photo mats. And then here's another one. And I used one of the cut aparts and it says happy holidays. And there's just a photo mat on the back. So those two just live in here in this pocket. And then this opens up, you have a four by five photo and then a three by four photo. And then this side is a gatefold and this is magnetized. So this opens up, says season's greetings. And here's that plaid paper again that I used that wasn't part of the collection, but I also just think it goes because it's like this grayish color. And then you open this up, you got the plaid on the inside and you got a Christmas tree background and you could add in a photo here or whatever you want. You could even just use it kind of like as a, like a tuck spot um, for some of these cards if you wanted to. Like if you just wanted this to live in here, you could just put that in there and just have that live in there and it doesn't really fall out or anything. So you could always do that or just, you know, include in other bits and pieces. And then here I have this pocket on the back. And again, I used up some cut aparts. And this is again, another one of those tags from Dollar Tree that I stuck on here because I didn't want to use more of the cut aparts from the collection. I just thought it was very repetitive. So I thought that this was fun. And then there's two photo mats on the inside. Um, and this is for a 4 by 4 photo, and then you have a 4 by 6 one that will go right here. And again, two photo mats on the inside. So those just live in the back here. And I totally forgot to mention, um, in case you didn't see my previous videos, but for this piece right here, this is where I would normally put like tickets and stubs and things from the holiday season. Maybe you went ice skating, you want to include a ticket stub. Um, maybe you went to like a holiday light show, you want to include that in here. I feel like there's so many events for um, the holiday season that I would just include all those um, little bits into that little pocket there. And then you could always move these elsewhere. You could move them to the back, you could move them around throughout the album or wherever you want them to go. So that is what this album looks like, guys. I had so much fun making it. You guys know I've been having so much fun in general just making these albums. Like, I've been going to town making these guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it. Again, this is going to be linked in my Etsy shop. So I'll have a link down below. And it'll be available for purchase in case you guys are interested. And that is it, guys, for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.